Welcome to Kickstart, where you get to see new products here at Automation Direct. Today, I'm going to show you our new bipolar and potentiometer signal conditioners designed and built from our friends down at Fax Engineering. We're now offering three new signal conditioners, so I'll discuss each one individually. Signal conditioners are great devices for converting one signal or ranges of signals to another. Now this is beneficial where your, say, PLC may have a 4 to 20 milliamp input and your device you need to connect to the PLC does not give a 4 to 20 milliamp output signal. Maybe your device outputs a negative 10 to positive 10 volt signal. Simply connect a signal conditioner between your device and PLC, configure the inputs and the outputs for the appropriate signals, and now they can communicate. The FC-P3 has a potentiometer input and analog output. Input ranges of three wire potentiometer of zero to 100 ohms through zero to 100 kilo ohms and output ranges of zero to five volts, zero to 10 volts, zero to 20 milliamps or four to 20 milliamps. Next is the FC-35B. It has unipolar voltage inputs of 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts, 0 to 20 milliamps, or 4 to 20 milliamp inputs, and bipolar voltage outputs with ranges of plus or minus 100 millivolt, plus or minus 50 millivolt, plus or minus 5 volt, plus or minus 10 volt, or plus or minus 15 volt. Last is the FC-B34. It offers bipolar voltage inputs to unipolar voltage or current outputs. Input ranges are plus or minus 100 millivolt, plus or minus 50 millivolt, plus or minus 5 volt, or plus or minus 10 volt, or plus or minus 15 volts, and the output ranges are 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts, 0 to 20 milliamps, or 4 to 20 milliamps. I know the ranges were a bit to understand verbally, so if there's any confusion, please check out the specs on our website. Now these modules have the same footprint as our popular signal conditioners that we've been offering. They can be mounted on 35 millimeter DIN rail or panel mounted on their side. They are very compact, rugged and easily configurable in the field. Now you can find the agency approvals and specs for these new signal conditioners on our website at automationdirect.com. And don't forget, we sell other signal conditioners, transmitters, analog I.O. for our controllers and more. Check back with us often on Automation Direct's websites or on youtube.com slash automation direct for more kickstart videos. And if you're watching with us today on YouTube, please let us know what you think about these new signal conditioners or how you plan to use them in your next application by dropping us a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.